May the light of Christ, rising in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds. Exalt, let them exalt the hosts of heaven. Exalt, let angel ministers of God exalt. Let the trumpet of salvation sound aloud our mighty King's triumph. Be glad, let earth be glad as glory floods her ablaze with light from her eternal King. Let all corners of the earth be glad, knowing an end to gloom and darkness. Rejoice, let Mother Church also rejoice, arrayed with lightning of his glory. Let this holy building shake with joy, filled with the mighty voices of the peoples. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, with ardent love of mind and heart, and with devoted service of our voice, to acclaim our God invisible, the Almighty Father, and Jesus Christ, our Lord, his Son, his only begotten, who for our sake paid Adam's debt to the Eternal Father, and pouring out his own dear blood, wiped clean the record of our ancient sinfulness. These then are the feasts of Passover, in which is slain the Lamb, the one true Lamb, whose blood anoints the doorposts of believers. This is the night when once you led our forebears, Israel's children, from slavery in Egypt, and made them pass dry short through the Red Sea. This is the night that with a pillar of fire banished the darkness of sin. This is the night that even now throughout the world sets Christian believers apart from worldly vices and from the gloom of sin, leading them to grace and joining them to his holy ones. This is the night when Christ broke the prison bars of death and rose victorious from the underworld. O oh, wonder of your humble care for us! O oh, love, O oh, charity beyond all telling, to ransom a slave you gave away your son. O oh, truly necessary sin of Adam, destroyed completely by the death of Christ. O oh, happy fault that earned so great, so glorious a Redeemer. The sanctifying power of this night dispels wickedness, washes faults away, 
restores innocence to the fallen and joy to mourners. O oh, oh, truly blessed night, when things of heaven are wed to those of earth and divine to the human. On this your night of grace, O Holy Father, accept this candle, a solemn offering, the work of bees and of your servants' hands, an evening sacrifice of praise, this gift from your most holy Church. Therefore, Lord, we pray you, that this candle, hallowed to the honour of your name, may persevere undimmed to overcome the darkness of this night. Receive it as a pleasing fragrance, and let it mingle with the lights of heaven. May this flame still be found burning by the morning star, the one morning star who never sets. Christ your Son, who coming back from, the, from death's domain has shed his peaceful light on humanity and lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God said, let us make man in our own image, in the likeness of ourselves, and let them be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, the cattle, all the wild beasts, and all the reptiles that crawl upon the earth. God created man in the image of himself, in the image of God who created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying to them, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and conquer it. Be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven and all living animals on the earth. God said, See, I give you all the seed-bearing plants that are upon the whole earth and all the trees with seed-bearing fruit. This shall be your food. To all wild beasts, all birds of heaven and all living reptiles on the earth, I give all the foliage of plants for food. And so it was. God saw all he had made, and indeed, it was very good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. Abraham, Abraham, he called. Here I am, he replied. Take your son, God said, your only child Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him as a burnt offering on a mountain I will point out to you. When they arrived at the place God had pointed out to him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood. Then he stretched out his hand and seized the knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, he said. I am here, he replied. Do not raise your hand against the boy, the angel said. Do not harm him, for now I know you fear God. You have not refused me your son, your only son. Then looking up, Abraham saw a ram caught by its horns in a bush. Abraham took the ram and offered it as a burnt offering in place of his son. The angel of the Lord called Abraham a second time from heaven. I swear by my own self, it is the Lord who speaks, 
Because you have done this, because you have not refused me your son, your only son, I will shower blessings on you. I will make your descendants as many as the stars of heaven and the grains of sand on the seashore. Your descendants shall gain possession of the gates of their enemies. All the nations of the earth shall bless themselves by your descendants as a reward for your obedience. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me so? Tell the sons of Israel to march on. For yourself, raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and part it for the sons of Israel to walk through the sea on dry ground. I, for my part, will make the heart of the Egyptians so stubborn that they will follow them. So shall I win myself glory at the expense of Pharaoh, of all his army, his chariots, his horsemen. And when I have won glory for myself at the expense of Pharaoh and his chariots and his army, the Egyptians will learn that I am the Lord. Then the angel of the Lord who marched at the front of the army of Israel changed station and moved to their rear. The pillar of cloud changed station from the front to the rear of them and remained there. It came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. The cloud was dark and the night passed without the armies drawing any closer to the whole, the whole night long. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord drove back the sea with a strong easterly wind all night and he made dry land of the sea. The waters parted, and the sons of Israel went on dry ground right into the sea, walls of water to right and to left of them. The Egyptians gave chase. After them they went right into the sea, all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. In the morning watch, the Lord looked down on the army of the Egyptians from the pillar of fire and of cloud, and threw the army into confusion. He so clogged their chariot wheels that they could scarcely make headway. Let us free from the Israelites, the Egyptians cried. The Lord is fighting for them against the Egyptians. Stretch out your hand over the sea, the Lord said to Moses, that the waters may flow back on the Egyptians and their chariots and their horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and as day broke, the sea returned to its bed. The fleeing Egyptians marched right into it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the very middle of the sea. The returning waters overwhelmed the chariots and the horsemen of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them was left. But the sons of Israel had marched through the sea on dry ground, walls of water to right and to left of them. That day, the Lord rescued Israel from the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shore. Israel witnessed the great act that the Lord had performed against the Egyptians, and the people venerated the Lord. They put their faith in the Lord and in Moses, his servant. It was then that Moses and the sons of Israel sang this song in honor of the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph, horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, my salvation. This is my God, and I extol him, my Father's God, and I give him praise. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh he hurled into the sea. The flower of his army is drowned in the sea. The deeps hide them, they sank like a stone. Your right hand, Lord, glorious in its power, your right hand, Lord, has shattered the enemy. In the greatness of your glory, you crushed the foe. You will lead your people and plant them on your mountain, the place, O Lord, where you have made your home, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands have made. The Lord will reign forever and ever.
Let us pray. O God, whose ancient wonders remain undimmed in splendor even in our day, for what you once bestowed on a single people, freeing them from Pharaoh's persecution by the power of your right hand, now you bring about as the salvation of the nations through the waters of rebirth. Grant, we pray, that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of Israel's birthright. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized in his death. In other words, when we were baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. If in union with Christ we have imitated his death, we shall also imitate him in his resurrection. We must realize that our former selves have been crucified with him to destroy this sinful body and to free us from the slavery of sin. When a man dies, of course, he has finished with sin. But we believe that having died with Christ, we shall return to life with him. Christ, as we know, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him any more. When he died, he died once for all to sin, so his life now is life with God. And in that way, you too must consider yourselves to be dead to sin, but alive for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Let the sons of Israel say, his love has no end. The Lord's right hand has triumphed, his right hand raised me up. I shall not die, I shall live and recount his deeds. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After the Sabbath and towards dawn on the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala and the other Mary went to visit the sepulchre. And all at once there was a violent earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled away the stone and sat on it. His face was like lightning, his robe white as snow. The guards were so shaken, so frightened of him, that they were like dead men. But the angel spoke, and he said to the women, There is no need for you to be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, as he said he would. Come and see the place where he lay, then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has risen from the dead, and now he is going before you to Galilee. It is there that you will see him. Now I have told you. Filled with awe and great joy, the women came quickly away from the tomb and ran to tell the disciples. And there, coming to meet them, was Jesus. Greetings, he said. And the women came up to him, and falling down before him, clasped his feet. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers that they must leave for Galilee. They will see me there. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the Easter Vigil is a very ancient celebration of the moment when the world, the whole of creation, was utterly changed once and for all. We listen to just a few readings that let us see again, that let us see afresh, God's loving plan for all of us. Death is a reality, but God's love and God's life is stronger than death. We find the empty tomb, we meet the Lord unexpectedly, the most unlikely and unexpected event, both for us and for his disciples of those times. But it tells us clearly that death is not the end. This is the night when we like to, when circumstances permit, to baptize adults and to bring them into the church as we join Christ in the tomb, as we join him in death. Not because Christians love death, but because we wish to share Christ's life. This is our hope. And so we celebrate with quiet hope and confidence Christ's life and the fulfillment of his wonderful promises to us. Even in the midst of our present difficulties, we are confident in God's loving plan to save us and to raise us up. A very happy, very peaceful Easter to you all. God bless you and look after each other. Through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism, by which we once renounced Satan and his works, and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. 
I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, filled with paschal joy, let us pray more earnestly to God that he who graciously listened to the prayers and supplications of his beloved Son may now be pleased to look upon us in our lowliness. For the shepherds of our souls, that may, they may have the strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to them by the Good Shepherd, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole world, that it may truly know the peace given by Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters who suffer, that their sorrow may be turned to gladness which no one can take from them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those affected by the coronavirus, that the Lord will grant us the grace we need to live through these times and bring this present suffering to an end. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own community, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, who know that our life in this present age is subject to suffering and need, hear the desires of those who cry to you and receive the prayers of those who believe in you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. I accept, we ask you, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, and what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may, by the working of your power, bring us to the healing of eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this night, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, 
that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred night of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, our spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and spiritual blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. 
to us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, therefore let us keep the feast with the unleavened bread of purity and truth. Alleluia. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this paschal sacrament one in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.